bit, I'm sharing an exercise called the QL walk. It's really been instrumental in helping my uh, pinch nerve in my back. And also with our hips, it can get very asymmetrical. With the QL, it's a muscle that connects the back of our ribs, our rib cage, down to the pelvis, that lower back muscle. And just with how we move, it can get uh, asymmetrical, you know, where it's a little maybe longer on one side, shorter on the other, weaker, whatever, what have you. But doing this exercise will help to bring, restore some balance. And it's gonna help uh, bring some balance to your legs, because one leg normally gets a little shorter than most people, the right leg. Most people are right-handed, they'll drop more weight for that right leg. This exercise is gonna kinda help to cue the pelvis and that low back alignment, and it's help you move more freely. And it's just helped me uh, regain a lot of range of motion in my hips, for the most part. And it's a, kind of a strength-based work, you know, just a movement-based pose, not a lot of uh, grit required, really. So we're here, 90 degree angle here. Toes towards shin, elbows tight, kettlebell, whatever you want to hold. Could be body weight. And here it's walking your butt cheeks forward, one leg at a time. I like to do 10 forward and then 10 back. You'll find as you experience this, just bring attention to your pelvis, that lower back. Just be aware of it. Trust the exercise. It's subtle. But it's really gone a long way to helping my hip function, low back function, and whatnot. I like using that as a primer before I train in the day with a lot of the other strength based activities that I use. You know, the squat, hinge, that whole series that we've covered or will cover, depending on where you are and seeing these videos. But it's a good primer, getting you know, your body to be whole and strong. And that's what we're looking for when we're uh, training. We want to go into our training session in complete dominion of our body. Jiu Jitsu is the art of controlling someone else, but to control someone else you must control your own body. So if you show up to class and you're just all like, oh this hurts, that hurts, or you haven't even thought about how your body feels, you haven't even thought about it, you know, you've been sitting in a car mindlessly and maybe listening to something, and then the 10 minutes that you get yourself to warm up, you just start kind of weirdly stretching, doing whatever comes to your mind, man, you're kind of wasting your time a little bit. And just show up cold all the way, don't even think, you know, trust your body by implementing exercises that allow you to trust your body. You implement these into your warm up, your cool down, throughout your day, grease and groove that I spoke about, like Pavel gets into, you really, really wanna focus on that. Because then when you get in your role, you get in your training, your body is ready to morph. Jiu Jitsu is a game of morphing your body around. You know, controlling yourself so you can control someone else. Controlling your posture, your positioning, so you can control the position of someone else. That's what we're looking to seek. And it begins with preparatory work daily throughout the day. Apply that, let me know how it goes. Connect with me below, like, comment, subscribe. I think it'll go a long way in helping you. And let me know what you need because I'm ready to help you and help you get to where you're in complete dominion over your movement. You all have a good one, guys.